Welcome to Scanning TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Ghana Football Association, Black Stars Nest Coach, Ghana Black Queens, and some other updates we need to know in this one. Per the latest updates that we have, two coaches, they have confirmed that they have been interviewed to become the next coach for the Black Stars team. Which coaches are they? Let's talk about them and also the West from one coach who got interviewed to become the next coach of the Black Stars team. Breaking news coming in this morning indicates that Ghana Black Queens team might not turn up for the game against Zambia on Friday 5 p.m. at Accra Sports Stadium because of arrears for winning bonuses. This is really interesting. I will explain to you all the details how six matches winning bonuses has not been paid and the Ministry of Youth and Sports, they have to take responsibility for that. Also, to some extent, the Ghana Football Association. Well, you will speak into details on that and see whether the girls will be happy to play or otherwise. Former player Abdul Raza speaking about the reappointment of Coach Otto Ado and some other updates in this one. Before then, if you've joined that, don't forget to like the video for me. After that, if you're new, subscribe to this channel, put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop the latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box. I also try and bring you some shout outs in my subsequent updates. There's no light around, you know, since yesterday evening. So we have to try and do this voiceover for you quickly and later on bring you an extensive update on this channel. So before we actually talk about the next coach for the Black Stars team and those who have been interviewed and all, let's begin from the Ghana Black Queens because they've been performing so well and we have to concentrate about them. Today, according to Efia Empress, who is a sports journalist at Angel TV, Angel FM, and some other multiple reports we are receiving, the Ghana Black Queens players are unhappy over um, arrears of winning bonuses. This is how their winning bonuses is structured. Anytime they play a round of qualifiers, then they pay them a winning bonuses. At first, they were receiving five thousand winning um, five thousand dollars as winning bonuses, but it was slashed down fifty percent, and now they are taking two thousand five hundred for a round of games. So if they play both home and away, um, then they will take two thousand five hundred as a qualification from that particular stage. So the girls, they have played six matches. And all those six matches, they will take three winning bonuses for that. And all those three winning bonuses are in arrears. And that is a sad one. Um, from last year, the Black Queens team, they played four rounds of games. That is eight matches. And out of the eight, they've paid one, which is 2,500 to the girls. And now, they are owing the girls 7,500 winning bonuses ahead of the game against Zambia. I brought you an update that um, Ministry of Youth and Sports together with the FA, they promised the girls that they will pay the money for them before the game against Zambia. By now, they are unhappy. And yesterday, 11 p.m., they held a meeting, also sounding the warning that if the money is not paid into the account by Friday, they will not play the game against Zambia. That is a sad situation. Definitely, we have to blame it on the Ministry of Youth and Sports because they have to release fans for this money to be paid. But the GFA is also being blamed because they are not really focusing on the women's football and the other junior national teams. Um, you know, some of the girls were actually raising concerns that since they joined camp, not even one FA member has gone there to welcome them and they are all sad over the situation. But let's wait and see because this is the best time for the girls to be motivated ahead of the game. Ghana have never qualified for Olympic Games for the women's side, so they can make a history in playing against Zambia. But it seems motivation is not there and we have to continue talking about it and hope that these girls will be paid the money due them so that they will go there and perform in there. I'm not holding brave for the girls, but I think they deserve the money and they need to be paid before the game on Friday as a motivation for them to win over Zambia because the game against Zambia is never going to be easy. Now, let me move on and talk about who becomes the next coach for the Black Stars team. Before we come to, um, you know, some of the coaches who have actually confirmed that they have been interviewed, let's talk about Abdul Raza Golden Boy, who is a Ghana football legend. Yes, he's also coached Kumasi Asanikodoko and also was a former player. He says that the reappointment of Otto Ado, he doesn't see it to be a good decision for the FA to reappoint him as the next coach for the Black Stars. He was speaking on Akuma FM. And these were the words that he uttered on Akuma FM. If the FA knew they would appoint Otto Ado, there would be no need to open applications for the Black Stars coaching job. 
they treat the black stars coaching position as trash he also continues to say the black stars coaching has lost its value and everything indicates the fa is doing this for personal gain rather than the benefits of Ghanaians. he concluded by saying Otto Addo as Black Stars coach will be the most ineffective decision ever made by the FA. We should take time to hire the best candidates available. Otto Addo led us to World Cup, but nothing good came from it. So why him again? That's the question that he asked on Akuma FM. That is Coach Abdul Razak, the golden boy. That is what he's saying on the reappointment of Otto Addo as reporter saying that he is in the pole position to become the next coach for the black star team so that is it also on him now let me come to the two coaches um one has actually confirmed that he has been interviewed for the black stars next coaching job that is michael Osei. he is formerly of bbn gold stars he has confirmed that right now he has gone through the interview phase and he is waiting for him to be appointed as the black stars coach um these are the words that he uttered after going through the application phase first of all i want to acknowledge the playing body ghana football association for shortlisting me granting me interview to put across the reasons for my application i've been a player in both local and the international terrains with my experience as a professional coach both in europe and in ghana i believe I have what it takes to bring together a ready-to-play um, team, young men who are committed in raising the flag of Ghana up high. I want the national head coach position together um, with my team. We already have the various strategies in place to bring back the love, fill stadiums, and produce results if given the chance. He concluded by saying, it will be a privilege to contribute together with the team in putting Ghana Blasters in the top 10 of the CAF national team rankings. I want to bring harmony in the dressing room. That is the vital means of achieving unity in the field of play. That is according to coach Michael Osei. He says that he's now waiting for him to be appointed so that he can actually do all these things for the Black Stars team. Do you think Michael Osei is the best candidate for the Black Stars next coach? Personally, I don't think he has gathered that enough experience to coach, but let's wait and see who will be appointed as the next coach for the Black Stars team. We've also heard that um, one coach has also gone through the interviewing phase. That is talking of Donadoni. Yes, I brought you an update on this channel that, um, you know, talking of Roberto Donadoni, he has also applied to become the next coach as part of the over 500 applicants, which has been confirmed by the FA. He was part and now, per what we know, Donadoni has also gone through the interviewing phase to become the next coach for the black stars team so that is it also on the italian coach i've confirmed for you that he's coached a lot of clubs the likes of lecho levono genoa napoli cagliari parma bologna shenzhen and even the italian national team itself so that is it on roberto donadoni he has also been interviewed to become the next coach for the black stars team so these are some of the updates that we can share with you on this channel let me know your thoughts in the comment box don't forget to always like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.